go live. Hi friends. How you doing today? Happy Thursday. I think we are live. Yes, we are live. Welcome. Um, I'm Lindsay for So Fancy, and I'm so glad you're here um, because today is another beautiful day in the craft room um, on this beautiful Thursday, this throwback Thursday. So we bought, brought back out of retirement um, probably like one of our most um, popular mandala bundles, um, the mandala bundle 2.0. So that is available um, today only before it goes back into retirement. Um, so it's something like 87 designs for like 17 cents each. So I mean, what a great deal. Um, and today we're gonna be doing a project with um, one of those beautiful designs. So um, if you are out there and you can hear me, if you can just go ahead and say hi, um, let me know where you're watching from, um, that would be really helpful. Thank you so much. Um, and then I am just going to go ahead and um, flip the camera down and we can get started. Um, so if any of you out there, have you worked with mandalas before? So um, you know that if you're cutting it out from like vinyl or HCV that the weeding process can um, take a little bit of time, even the cutting process. So I have actually already gone ahead and done that. Um, just to save us some time. Um, but there's lots of other ideas you can do um, if you don't like weeding. Um, so think like stickers, sublimation, um, uh, you can print onto clear sticker paper, which we've done before. Um, and I can go ahead and link to that um, video as well. So um, even if you're not a big weeding person, um, there's still a lot of projects you can do with um, Mandala. So I'm gonna, um, Flip the camera down. You can take a look at this beautiful mandala that I have already done. Oh, this is Marilyn from Indiana, hello. And Kimberly from Salt Lake City, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Wonderful, wonderful. Do you like working with mandalas? Um, this one probably took me, this is um, glitter adhesive vinyl. Um, and this one probably took me 15 minutes to cut out on um, my Cameo. Um, and then maybe like an hour to weed. Um, and I just turned on, you know, my favorite show, um, had the Great British Baking Show on and I just weeded this um, whole thing and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a beautiful peacock and oh hi Marina from um, Monterrey, Mexico. Welcome. All right, so we're going to be putting this mandala on. Um, this is a slatted wood sign so you can see that there's actually some spaces in between here and so I wanted to see um, how we'd go about putting a design like this onto a surface like this. Um, so now that it's been weeded, cut and weeded, um, we need to transfer it over with some transfer tape. So I'm just gonna cut a piece off the roll here. Um, I gotta peel it off, <laughs> peel it off first. <laughs> Do we have any uh, first time viewers or anyone new to Throwback Thursday? Um, each month we bring one of our bundles out of retirement, 24 hours. And it's always one of our like super popular ones. Mandalas are always really popular. Um, so even if, and even if you are not planning on doing any mandala projects now, uh, you will have this. You purchase this bundle and you're going to have it forever. So you can come back to it um, when you're ready to do um, some mandala projects. But there's some really cute stuff. There's some holiday stuff in there too. So um, you could do some really cute like Christmas tree stuff. Um, all right, so I've got a piece of transfer tape and let's just go, this is kind of rolling up a little bit, which just kind of makes me a little nervous. I always want to make sure that the transfer tape goes on smoothly and it would just 
do that better if this was laying flat. So I'm just gonna stick it to my well-loved <laughs> um, sticky mat. All right, and then I can go ahead and apply the transfer tape. So I'm gonna put one edge down here and then take my squeegee and roll it across. Scrape it across, rather. There we go. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to flip this over and then just peel the mat off the back. And then I am going to burnish the back really well. And then I always found I get better results if I peel the backing off of the vinyl rather than peeling the transfer tape. Up. actually this looks like it's sticking pretty well if you ever have a problem with the transfer tape not lifting up the vinyl just flip it over and peel the backing off I've always found that that just is really really helpful okay so that came up really really nicely perfect exactly what I wanted um, now um, I'm going to put it back on <laughs> and you'll see why I'm doing this. Just make sure that you put it um, back on the right way. So there's like that glossy side that goes down like that. <clears throat> so you'll see why I'm actually putting it back down. I'm going to cut around the edge of the design cutting through the vinyl backing cutting through the transfer tape so that it's right up against the edge of the design i can probably get a little closer on this side okay so there is that. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because this is the top. I want to align this on my sign here. And I got this sign at the craft store. And I think right about there. I could always measure it if I really wanted to. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of tape um, right down the middle. So I thought I had that. So yeah, here it is. This is just a piece of low tack um, painter's tape. Tear it off. There we go. All right, and I'm going to put it right down the middle. Let me just make sure that looks. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like that. Here we go. And I'm going to just tape it onto the board. Uh, and now I need my scissors again. I can peel this part up and then I can cut off this part of the backing. So the reason that I like to peel the transfer tape and the vinyl off first and then put the vinyl backing back on is that I have not done that before, gotten to this stage and then have had you know such a hard time getting the vinyl to stick. Um, so if I've already peeled it off, then I know during this point 
um, it's going to be so much easier for me. So that's why I do that. I've had people ask me, why, why do you do that? And that has worked really well for me. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this off. We've also been asked, um, can you tear the backing? Could you just tear this off? And the question, and the answer is yes. Um, what can happen though is um, some of like the, here, let me go ahead and put this on. I'm just going to use my scraper to scrape that on. Oops, just like that. And then I'll show you what happens if you rip it. Um, the, I mean, it's like a paper inside and sometimes little fuzzies from the paper can fall off and then stick underneath the vinyl. Um, so by cutting it, um, it, that's just, that's not going to happen. When you rip it, uh, that can be a possibility. I mean, it might not happen every single time. Uh, those little fuzzy paper pieces come off, but it might happen, you know, the time when you definitely don't want it to. Okay, so now what you do is then you can use this side as like a hinge to fold back and peel this side off. And then we can scrape this side down, just like that. Okay, I usually like to take the transfer tape off, or not the transfer tape, the, um, Painter's tape. Okay. All right, so I am going to burnish this really, really well. And I've always found that my fingers have been the best burnishing tool. You can really get into every nook and cranny. Okay, now this is where I am going to, I'm actually gonna take my craft knife and I'm gonna cut in between the slacks or the slats. And um, you want a really sharp knife here so you can cut through that vinyl. is that one and then I can get in here with either your your nail or the edge of your scraping tool and push that down into there <clears throat> then I'm gonna do the same thing here and push the other side down. All right, and then I've got one more slot right here. So now that we've um, actually cut through the transfer tape, you have to, you know, take it off in sections, but that's, that's fine. 
<clears throat> so what we want to do is then peel off the transfer tape. slowly just so that if any little bits are not sticking like that one right there I can just push it down and this design comes from the mandala 2.0 bundle um, which is our out of retirement for today only bundle um, and so I have that linked in the description um, and I'm just gonna use the edge of this to press in the edge here there we go okay perfect and so then then that part you can see that it kind of goes into that little um, just like a little divot there. Um, and so then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. There we go. Oops, that little part. There we go. working carefully. Mandalas do tend to be a little bit more fiddly because of their intricate design, um, but there are also lots of projects you can do that don't require any weeding or transferring or anything like that. Melissa um, did some little tags this morning. Um, it's just, and basically it's just printing the design um, so you, yeah, you can make si um, um, stickers, you can do sublimation, okay, and I can press that into there. Ooh, that looks cool so far. Awesome. Okay, and then <clears throat> um, let's pull this side off. Yeah, if you've got um, fingernails, that works <laughs> well, but um, a tool like a, a scraper like this can really help to get into those little grooves. All right, and then we can peel this off. Oops, that little part, there we go. Okay, almost there. And then um, right in these little grooves here between the slats, I'm just pushing those little pieces down. I could take my um, scraper and do the same thing. There we go. Okay, and then this part. Here we go. There. Okay, and then we have one more left. So you could do this for, you know, any design, um, but with the mandala, it works just as well. Perfect. And then after I apply it, I always like to go over with my finger again, just so I can make sure that I get a nice, really good, um, adhesion go in with my scraping tool as well and 
there's that beautiful look at that shine i love that this is a glitter um a glitter i'm gonna push this edge in a glitter adhesive vinyl it's got that beautiful shine to it all right there we go so yeah there's a few spots where i'll need to like really um Pay a little bit more attention to but overall there you go that looks really cute I love that that's really pretty um, so I mean just basically the only thing we did different is that we took our craft knife and then cut through the slots and then um, you just have to then go back in with a tool or your fingernail <laughs> and then press in those little spots right in there but otherwise there we go um this is from this peacock is from the um mandala 2.0 bundle um it is on our throwback thursday special it's out of retirement i'm gonna move the camera out of retirement for today only um, so it will expire or it will go back into retirement at 11.59 um, Eastern time tonight. So uh, go over and um, there's a link in the description and you can check it out. And then don't forget that um, we now have uh, daily freebies. So while you're um, putting the uh, uh, Mandela Bundle 2.0 in your cart, um, you can grab the um, daily um, free design as well. So, um, and then of course come back tomorrow because you get another another new daily freebie. So, <laughs> I have that linked in the um, description as well. Um, so that's all I had for today. Um, if you have any questions, then um, of course let us know. Um, if you make anything with um, the mandala bundle or any of the designs on Sofonte, then please post them um, in our um, Facebook group, the You Sofonte Craft the Infer Inspiration, or you can email them to us at um, customer service at sofonte.com. Um, and then also we have um, a new rating system. So if you get a design and you make something like super fabulous with it and you want to share it, you can also um, review that design and post um, the picture of your project with it as well. So um, anyway, thank you so much. Um, I'm so glad you're here. I hope you um, are able to do um, some crafting today. And um, But whether or not, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.